In this video, you'll learn how to log into your Chemidoc MP, use SmartTray technology, acquire fluorescence blot images in three easy steps, and export them. To turn your Chemidoc on, push the green button in front of your instrument. When the customizable home screen appears, tap anywhere to bring up the login menu. If you're a new user, type the desired username, click the plus sign, and the new login will be entered. Administrative controls can be set by clicking the person icon in the top right hand corner. To begin, open the imager and pull out the trans illuminator. Remember that all gels and blots are always imaged on one of three trays. It is easy but important to clean the trays. Simply use DI water and a Kim wipe for the best performance. SmartTray technology automatically recognizes application-specific trays and adjusts imaging parameters and software options accordingly. For fluorescent blots, select the UV tray. To acquire multi-channel images, begin by tapping Multi. Center your membrane on the UV tray. Once you are satisfied with the position, push the transilluminator back in and close the drawer. Zoom in to your desired imaging area. Or you can simply select a size under Image Size. Tap Application, select Blots, and choose the appropriate fluorophore. Here we're visualizing Starbright 520, Dilight 680, and Dilight 800. Select the pseudo color from the drop down menu. You can take a preview of your image and set a region of interest. This can be very useful for excluding bright areas that you don't want to quantify, such as your marker. You can choose between entering your exposure time or enabling automatic detection of your bands. Tap Exposure. Select Optimal Exposure to use the full dynamic range of the instrument to show faint bands without saturating bright bands. Use Rapid Exposure for shorter exposure times. If you prefer, you can easily capture a single image by selecting Set Manual Exposure Time. To accommodate low-light quantitative assays, such as near-infrared dyes, additional options are available in the Exposure menu. The ChemiDoc will provide a recommended binning setting for each image, but user control is enabled to adjust from 1x1 1 1 to 8x8 binning. Tap the plus sign to add additional fluorophores. Tap the camera button to capture the image. If you're not satisfied with your multiplex fluorescent image, Tap the Retake button. Note that each application automatically populates with the options Keep or Retake. Previous exposure times are also indicated. For a quick assessment of the band intensities, you can tap each band. The relative fluorescence units and percent to saturation will appear. To adjust image appearance, tap the Transform icon in the lower toolbar. Adjustments will be saved, but the actual data will remain unchanged. Your images will be automatically saved and exported to the gallery. Tap the Image Info icon. Here you can enter a custom name and any notes you'd like to include about your image or experiment. Tap the Send Save icon to select the file format. You can also export images in multiple file types. Under Export Options, tap a file type and the destination, either saving to a USB drive or to a network. When you choose the ImageLab file format, your custom name and notes, as well as all the data indicated below, are exported to BioRad's license-free ImageLab analysis software, which is available for both Mac and PC. We hope that this instructional video has helped you to learn how to capture multiplex fluorescent blot images. For further learning, please use the complete searchable onboard manual or the Teach As You Tap software assistance tool.